Hi, this is John, Flat 6 Motorsports, and we have the Project 992 career behind me. We're gonna upgrade the intercooler from the stock one, the CSF intercooler. Let's get into it. So in front of me, I have the CSF intercooler. CSF has been making radiators and cooling solutions for over 50 years. Uh, pretty good name here in the Porsche scene. They make them for a variety of all platforms. Uh, here for the 992, it has a new intercooler setup relative to the 991. Uh, the older style used to use two intercoolers split on the side of the engine. The 992, of course, moved that up top and it uses airflow from behind um, on top of the roof line down uh, before you hit the rear bumper, it'll throw uh, air through the intercooler. Um, so it's actually a really interesting setup, but CSF has made a intercooler solution for this. Uh, it has really nice CNC machined um, end tanks. Um, so this is all steel, this is all, or sorry, aluminum. This is all welded. Um, and then, I mean, just really nice work throughout here. It's a very, very high quality piece. And so the CSF design has more tubes internally and larger fins. So that's gonna allow more air to flow through it, which should dissipate heat better and lower your intake air temperatures. Um, so we're gonna get it on the dyno and test that, but we've also done some testing on the stock intercooler where we've done back-to-back -back quarter mile runs in 60 to 130 poles to log the IAT. So we're gonna show you a nice before and after graph after we wrap up here. Uh, but overall, this is a really nice piece. It fits all Carreras, so the base S and GTS all share the same intercooler. The turbo actually has a slightly different intercooler. Um, it's two inches um, bigger, uh, but CSF also makes a version for the turbo, but it is a different part. Uh, so let's get this on the car installed, and then we're gonna go out on the street, do some logging, and see what kind of intake air temperature results we get. All right, so we're back with the 992 career after doing some testing. Now our testing protocol, we kept everything very consistent, same stretch of road just to make this apples to apples. Uh, the first test we did was a quarter mile test. So we did two essentially back to back quarter mile poles. Now there is a little bit of a loop back to our quarter mile circuit. So it's basically a quarter mile pole, about 20 seconds of cruising or so, and then another quarter mile run. Um, and this is actually where the difference shows up the greatest. You can see here on the graph, the stock reached 163 degrees Fahrenheit, where the CSF only reached 145 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's an 18 degree Fahrenheit difference or delta, and that's about 11%. But you can see the max gains in here are actually about 23 degrees Fahrenheit, so the, the biggest point of deltas, uh, which represents about a 15% loss in IATs, which is gonna be huge, particularly if you're doing anything like tracking the car, where you're gonna be consecutively uh, getting on the throttle and load with a lot of boost. That's really gonna help. We also tested this with a 60 to 130. Um, and again, this was a 60 to 130 pull, basically backing off for about five to 10 seconds on this one, and then going again. So same stretch of road. Uh, the results weren't as big here. The stock intercooler reached 149 degrees Fahrenheit, where the CSF reached 138 which represents an 11 degree Fahrenheit difference at the peak, or about 7%. And then the max there is about a 14 degree difference, and that represents about a 10% delta. Uh, so no matter kind of the conditions, you're getting anywhere from 10 to 15% in those two tests of lower IATs. At speed, you're getting a little more airflow, which actually helps the stock intercooler quite a bit. But either way, you're getting good results in both tests. And these, what, these are tests that we thought would be most common for a street client. Uh, who's going to do occasional pulls, maybe some uh, stoplight to stoplight racing, that kind of thing. Uh, but really where this product would make the most sense is for somebody who's going to track the car, put it on a road course, because you're constantly going to be under load, under throttle, under boost. Those turbos are going to generate heat. And what this intercooler does is more efficiently dissipate that heat, keeping your IATs lower. So it's good to see that in the data in just these two tests. Uh, I suspect on the road course you would see that um, 
actually play out in a bigger way over time. Because what happens is when the car reaches higher IATs, it's going to start cutting its timing and some of the boost pressure. So your car is actually gonna get slower to preserve the engine, which is a good fail safe by Porsche. Uh, but what this intercooler is gonna help do is keep you in that optimal performance range for a longer period of time so you can enjoy that, that max and peak power uh, more consistently time and time again. So I hope you found this video informative. If you're interested in the CSF intercooler, the link is below. Feel free to check us out at flat6.com. Thanks, we'll see you in the next one.